Il est mad. Pull it back now, no, but I don't distract anything. I told you your guard yourself. Now come out my phone now. So this one is the top of the only life.
commissioning of the Southern Parkway S8 from S9 from the National Eastern Center to Road 1, Nigeria Square Expressway, by His Excellency, President Bola Mertinibu, as part of the celebration of the President's one day in office, is following the successful completion of the project after about 13 years of this commencement. Mr. President, they wish to be informed that the Southern Pathway is one of the principal outlets from sea and plant as a freeway to provide access and connectivity to the Southern Development Plan of the city as provided in the Abuja Master Plan. The other principal outlet is the Northern Pathway, which has been substantially developed over the years to service the Northern District. The to bring the development for the purpose of the Southern Parkway apart from the Northern Parkway. These projects, which were awarded in December 2010 to Mr. Central Corner Joint Division at a contract sum of 2.2 billion, were later revised to 35.7 billion due to changes in scope and other economic indices. But it was done before the certification came in. The scope of work made about two main carriageways of four years each and two service carriageways of two years each, making a total of 12 lanes. It also includes the construction of four number interchanges, a total of eight number bridges in addition to the provision of associated underground engineering infrastructure facilities. I'm happy to further inform your excellence that the project is now completed in line with the lead hope agenda of the separate. The completion of the project will indeed enhance traffic circulation around the city center, thereby reducing delays and travel time, complement the developed portion of the northern pathway by using the traffic congestion experience in the southern districts of Garki, Kutu, and Durumi as well as accelerate the development of the southern axis of the city in general, thereby bringing improved socioeconomic benefits to residents and other Nigerians. The Excellency, distributed ladies and gentlemen, an assumption of office with my Honorable Minister of State in August 21, 2023, we are confronted with many uncompleted projects that are part of for several for several years. However, the coming of the current administration and its president of clinching support has indeed led to the completion of this project, amongst others, ready for commission. The Federal Capital Territory Association, FCT, and the FCT residents appreciate Mr. President's support and valuable achievements. It is in this regard and for many other patriotic persuasions that the FCC administration hereby humbly resolve that this very important road be named Bola and the Tinibu Way. The Excellency Mr. President, it is now my honor and privilege to invite you to the commission of this newly completed Southern Parkway and for and stop there. Barista is on weekend. Mr. Project. Thank you for giving us this hope. and sincere commitment to shared value. Well done. As a team leader, you work so hard, tirelessly.
I must recognize your vision that is revolutionary and very inspiring to many of our people. Yes, and we. The changes you made to the FCT structure and administrative is yielding results and elevating the heart of many Nigerians. Thank you very much. The national chairman of our party, Alaji Umar Ganduji, all other senior government officials, captains of industry, royal fathers and religious leaders, distinguished and valid guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we got to mark a significant milestone in the journey of our nation towards progress and development. As we commemorate our first year in office, and I was inaugurated as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, it is a great joy and challenge that we have a huge job on our soldier. But transformative project you are seeing. I heard from his remark. as this project will have been an abandoned project. For 13 years, scratching the surface. Once again, our dear landlord, Barista Ezenwoke, thank you for bringing love back to our federal capital territory. I understand the Southern Parkway not only represents a physical artery that connects vital areas within FCT but also symbolizes our collective aspirations for connectivity, ease of livelihood, accessibility, and progress. By providing a seamless and efficient transportation corridor, this roadway will not only ease traffic congestion, but also enhance mobility and creativity for the residents and visitors to FCT. The completion of the Southern Parkway underscores our commitment to inclusive and sustainable development. As we strive to build the world-class capital city, we recognize the fact that infrastructure is an enabler of jobs, economic development, and prosperity. We believe we are going to achieve all of that.
the need of our citizens is paramount in our mind. So for making our citizens the central focus of our development, we believe Nigeria will succeed. As we formally inaugurate this road, I'm greatly honored that I had him mentioning my name as a beneficiary thank you very much thank you for being a very good team leader we all collectively will not let you down To me, a contractor evaluation is in the hand of even Wiki and his team. I just recognize your presence being here. The many of the sources, the small job, more hard work. On this note, I think I am ready to call the tape and to get this road inaugurated. Thank you very much for listening. Of the Federal Capital Territory Administration and its residents, I extend our heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency, President Ola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, for gracing this auspicious occasion with his presence. We say thank you, Excellency, sir. We are also, uh, the FCT administration extends its gratitude to the Chairman, House and Senate Committee on FCT, and all members of the National Assembly for their invaluable support to our administration. No doubt, this project represents a significant milestone in our journey towards progress and development as an administration. Therefore, I would also like to express our sincere appreciation to Mr. Project, the Honorable Minister of FCT Barry Wiki, and other cabinet members who stood by us to succeed in this audacious journey. Your dedication and hard work have transformed our city's landscape, enhancing connectivity and mobility for all. Your Excellency, I will not end this word of thanks without appreciating religious and traditional leaders for their fervent prayer, members of the diplomatic corps, management staff of the Federal Capital Development Authority, contractors, engineers, and workers who have worked tirelessly to bring this vision to fruition. We also extend our gratitude to the residents of NCT for their patience and support throughout the construction process. Your cooperation has been invaluable in making this project a huge success. We sincerely thank members of the press for the wide publicity we have enjoyed since the session of this administration of His Excellency uh, President Boda Hatunbo. As we inaugurate this third pathway, let us not only celebrate its physical completion, but also the opportunities it brings for economic growth, social cohesion, and improved quality of life for our citizens. Once again, thank you to everyone who have contributed to the realization of this project. Let us continue together, to, let us work together towards the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President for the people of Nigeria to continue being happy and regaining their hope. Thank you, may God bless you all. Assignment is to present the technical brief of the road project we are about to commission today. And I take it that uh, the Abuja master plan 
conceive the operation of the new federal capital city, Uja, in the form of two development corridors, north and south, including the central area and the main hall. The parkway system forms an integral part of the network of roads That's what in the transportation master plan of the federal capital city. It dissects the two development corridors and is planned to function as a freeway with a view to optimize vehicular movement as has been enunciated by the uh, MC between the developed centers and the central area. Within the central area, the parkway system encloses the cultural spine. While within the northern development corridor, it is called the Northern Parkway M8 N9. And it starts from the city center around the inner northern express, which is a road just by the national uh, mocks and the uh, Shoya Center intersection and passes through phases one up to phase four in the north of the city, ending up on the, uh, on the outer northern expressway junction around the, the area for those of us composant with Sabuja. It is covering a total length of 25 kilometers. On the other hand, the Southern Development Corridor, the parkway starts from the city center at its intersection with the Inner Southern Expressway and passes through phases one to four of the south of the city and ends on the Inner Southern Expressway at a junction near Kuji, located in phase four, and it has a total length of about 27 kilometers. Whereas a section of the Northern Parkway has been developed from the city center through phases one to two, up to around the ring road two, where we have this big life camp roundabout. It is, and it is named Sani Abacha Way in part and that Sheo Musai Adua Way on other parts. The Southern Parkway had remained undeveloped over the years. The segment of the Southern Parkway that is being commissioned today covers a total distance of about 5.4 kilometers, spanning from the National Christian Center at CBN Junction with Good Luck and Bailey Jonathan, which is the inner Southern Expressway, up to the Ring Road 1, that is the Namdi Azikwe Expressway. The objectives of the pro uh, projects are to, among others, as also itemized by the MC, to rapidly evacuate traffic from the city center, thereby reducing delays and increasing useful man hours. It also is intended to complement its counterpart Northern Parkway to ease the heavy traffic situation already being experienced in the southern districts of Garki, Guru, and Dero. It is also to accelerate development in the southern axis of the city. The scope of the work that we are presenting today consists of the development of two main carriageways of four lanes each and two service carriageways of two lanes each, making a total of 12 lanes. The parkway, as against the other expressway of 10 lanes, is the only roadway with 12 lanes. It also includes the construction of four number interchanges with a total eight number bridge crossings, network of integrated underground engineering infrastructure facilities, such as storm and foul water drainages, water supply, power supply, street lighting, and telecom ducting. The project was awarded to Mrs. Setraco, Nigeria Limited in two phases, first in December 2010, and then December, uh, November 2012, as phases one and two, but has suffered inadequate funding. It is out of the doggedness and the determination of Musta Project, the Honor Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barrister Ezemwo Yeso Week, that we are able to see to the accomplishment of this outstanding work on this, which has enabled us to present today for commission. Every aspect of the work on this segment of the contract has been completed and delivered. I thank you for this great opportunity to be able to be presenting this technical overview. Thank you, Excellency.